Art of animation. Let's see if we can park. Hi, good morning. Just coming in to check out the resort. I can't let you guys play park in here. So where do I park then? Yeah, either go to Hollywood Studios or Disney Springs. Okay. Disney Springs? So they come to bring the bus over here. Gotcha. Thank you. All right. Turn around right here, please. Well, Disney is uh, cracking down on this. It makes it a little more difficult to come to the resort you want to go to. There is our transportation to Art Animation. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. Um, as you can see, Disney is uh, continuing to strike down on the parking, especially at Pop Century, Art Animation, and Caribbean Beach, which makes it a little bit difficult to go there if you are just visiting like we're gonna do, because we're gonna go and check out Art Animation for a tour. Um, but the big question is, why are, why are they doing this? I really think the reason Disney is cracking down on those three resorts is because a lot of people are parking there to skip paying parking at Epcot and at Hollywood Studios because the Skyliner goes from those resorts to these parks. And I think Disney has realized people are abusing that and coming straight to the parks. That's the only reason that I think they would be doing that. I don't think it's because there's so many people at the resort and there's limited parking spaces. I don't think that's it. I really think it's because of um, people abusing that and taking the Skyliner to, to the parks and skipping on like $30 to pay. Which means the only way to get to that resort if you're not staying there is to take the Skyliner or like you, you heard the hearse say, take the bus from Disney Springs. This is our best bet. Disney Springs is free parking though. This obviously was not. I do have an annual pass and it's free for me. But um, yeah, it's, it's getting like a little bit difficult just to go see those resorts. You could take a resort bus from a park if you wanted. Can I get that non-wrapped one? Thanks, man. Thank you. Just a reminder as well, face masks are no longer required on Disney transportation. This includes the Skyliner and the buses slash the monorails, but what are you guys' thoughts on that? We're seeing a lot of actual resorts implement this. You can't really park at a Disney resort anymore, at least these three resorts, unless you're staying there. And I think it's because a lot of people are abusing it to skip paying at the park that they're going to. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. I've got zero complaints, just letting you know. The entire Walt Disney World Resort is over 40 square miles. I did know that. the same size as the city of San Francisco and double the island of Manhattan. Awesome, but just to let you guys know, Disney is cracking down at, I would say, most of the resorts um, for parking. So just a heads up, if you're trying to go on into some of the resorts, they aren't letting it. It's actually easier to park at the Polynesian these days than it is to actually park at Art Animation, Pop Century, and Caribbean Beach. Who would have thought? We've made it to Caribbean Beach. Love this resort. Now we gotta hop on the monorail to go this way. Art Animation and Pop Century. Two, one, soar in the tower. We have takeoff. Woo! It's kind of crazy too, because where I live, I see a lot of alligators and whatnot, but here in Disney property, there's like rarely an alligator. And here's kind of like a good opportunity, because it's like the wildlands where you would expect alligators to be, but I feel like Disney does such a good job at um, taking them out and relocating the alligators. So there's like slim to none on property, but they're out there. Trust me, they're out there. Probably one of the best things that's ever happened to Art of Animation in Pop Century is obviously the Skyliner, the best way to get to Hollywood Studios, and um, it's Epcot. 
with a little to no weight. In the morning though, expect the Skyliner to be a little bit packed. Most of you guys probably know a lot of people flood this. And then you have to deal with the traffic of Caribbean Beach as well. So if you're trying to rope drop Hollywood Studios, maybe take the bus. That might be your best choice because I don't think this opens actually in the morning. But um, welcome to Art Animation. I'm excited. I love this resort. It's beautiful. But it has gotten a little pricey over the years because they are family suites. Something to know about Disney's art animation is that there's four sections, three with the same price range. So we've got Cars, we've got Finding Nemo, we've got The Lion King, and then we have The Little Mermaid, with The Little Mermaid being the least inexpensive of the four because it's not sweets. All the others are sweets. They sleep a lot. It's ideal for families, but those suites can run anywhere from $300 to $600 a night. And The Little Mermaid being as inexpensive as $200, so probably up as well as $400 during peak year. A little history about art animation. It was actually completed in 2012, which is when I actually graduated high school, believe it or not. Uh, the resort has nearly 2,000 family suites with uh, themed interiors and then 864 standard rooms being The Little Mermaid. Those can sleep up to four and the suites can sleep up to six. Art animation was actually supposed to be the legacy years of Pop Century, but it was actually halted because of 9-11. So instead of Pop Century, art animation was built. Obviously our first themed area is going to be the Little Mermaid. I think my favorite is the Cars. I've stayed in the Cars and the, uh, sorry, did I say Little Mermaid? Finding Nemo section, we're in the Finding Nemo. I've stayed here. As you can see, they have a playground. I think the last time we were here, this playground was actually closed due to uh, COVID. It's been a while since we've been here, but it's good to see that the playgrounds are back on open. It's obviously a good place for kiddos. Look, got a nice little slide here. It's pretty neat. I believe currently right now, the suites are going for about 500 to $700 a night. It's pretty expensive stay here at Art Animation for it being a value resort. Let's go on inside the big blue pool. This is uh, the only, or sorry, there's three pools. This is the biggest one at Art Animation. Supposedly this is the biggest pool on Disney property, but I really feel like the Yacht and Beach is the biggest. This one has 310,000 gallons of water. I don't think it's the biggest. I really think Yacht and Beach Club is way bigger. You guys can be the judge of that. It's big, but it's not as big as the Yacht and Beach. Obviously in this section, there's going to be Finding Nemo characters left and right, like Crush over here and his basically 1,000 kids. Or is he a thousand years old and have like has like a hundred kids, something like that, right? Beautiful design. And then if we go across to the other side, we've got Mr. Ray. But it looks like this area is being currently refurbished. Mr. Ray is getting a refurb. I actually tried to go out of this gate, but now I know the answer why. This whole section is, I think, getting a a repaint. Mr. Ray is getting a refresh. Definitely, because they've got some forklifts over here to go up and touch you up, Mr. Ray. I've actually stayed in this building before. And comment down below, have you guys ever stayed at Art Animation? I feel like a lot of you guys have, because it's, it's a big resort, and I know a lot of people like it, as do I. <laughs> Mr. Ray doesn't have any eyes right now. You guys see that? His eyes are closed. He's definitely getting a, getting a paint job. We're gonna head on out of the Finding Nemo section and head on over to the Cars little section. Actually, I wouldn't say little, it's, it's still pretty big. Radiator Springs. Now I did hear rumors. Now these are just rumors that Radiator Springs might be coming to Hollywood Studios. I think that's quite the stretch, but this is also a very cool section. It's our little Cars land that they have in Disneyland, or sorry, California Adventure over in, in Florida. Ooh, before we actually head on over to Cars, they're actually painting this whole outside of the building. I wonder if they're gonna eventually do this to all of the resort buildings. You guys see this? I have no idea how Disney manages all this. 
they have so many construction projects going on left and right. Like, it's just mind blowing on how much Disney has going on at all their resorts. Everything. It's, it's honestly insane. Ideally, I feel like you don't like to see this, but I love seeing things like this. That's so cool. I wonder if they're putting anybody in these, these rooms, and I've got a feeling they are. Because all they're doing is the outside. At least I think. There's no way they're doing a re room refurb. I would have known about that. All right, let's head to Radiator Springs. Real quick, a lot of you guys might be wondering about food. Our food court is right there. We'll head on over there after we check out Cars area. It would have been so cool if the Cozy Cone Mattel was actually like something that they have over at Disneyland where they're serving some nice little snacks. Um, there's only one place to eat here at Art of Animation other than like the pool bar is uh, that right there, the cafeteria. Definitely the most open area for sure. We are in a desert, that is, as you guys can tell. And what I love about this like whole hotel in general is just like the outside of the buildings are obviously painted so cool, obviously on theme with each area. It's just something so unique that they brought to the table when they built this resort. Looks like we are uh, power washing the road here this afternoon. That's something that Disney usually does on a daily, which uh, it's just upkeep. Right in the center is the Cozy Cone Motel. And to the right, we've got Mater. See what I mean by the theming of this resort? It's just like so cute, you know? It's beautiful. It's amazing. And here's the other little small little pool which I might like a little bit better. It's, it's less, less packed. It's just not as fun as the big one, but I'm always uh, like a less packed type of, type of pool goer here. Oh no. They are repainting a lot here at this resort. We've got Lightning McQueen all covered up. No. Well, this is where Lightning McQueen is, but as you can see, he's being a little bit shy today. I wonder how long this has been going on for. What a bummer, right? Can't get a picture with Lenny McQueen. Hopefully this isn't going on for too long. I don't know when they've started this. At least you guys get a good overview on this section here in 2022. Now that I kind of look at it, I think they are repainting all of these buildings because this side actually looks a lot faded than the other side. Straight ahead, you guys can't really tell, but it's really faded. I mean, after 10 years, I guess paint fades, right? Let's head on over to the animation hall, which is the cafeteria that we were just talking about. But I actually want to go to the front of the resort because that might be one of my favorite places to uh, actually just look at. <laughs> kind of sounds weird, but it's, it's obviously like the first thing you see when you come to the resort. Bell Services is actually going to be right here in the front. You can see there's a line for Bell Services. So if you need luggage assistance, this is where, this is where you go. Just remember to tip your bellmen, guys. Tip your bellmen, five bucks, 10 bucks, whatever it is, they work on tips. We're actually coming to the front of Art of Animation at a pretty darn good time. Everyone's at the parks, so it's fairly empty. It's very awesome. We've got all the sections of the icon of the characters. It's very nice. I love the front of Art of Animation. Quite the centerpiece if you ask me. This is also where you pick up the buses, which I'm still indifferent on how we're gonna get back to Hollywood Studios. I do like the Skyliner because it's pretty much a zero minute wait. We could take the bus, but I just like the Skyliner so much.
Also guys, if you could do me a huge favor, if you're new around here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and drop a thumbs up so more people can see this video. Thanks. Y'all rock. Now inside we go to Animation Hall. I can smell it already. I love that each resort has its own little unique smell. I don't think there's a Disney resort that I don't like the smell of. Ah, it's weird, but there it is. I think y'all know. Welcome to Art of Animation. Ah, so good to be back here. Let's go check out the concierge, which is gonna be directly to our right. Well, we made it to the front where most likely you guys will get dropped off here at this beautiful resort. If you guys look on the back wall, these are sketches. And as you keep on going down, they're gonna get completed to the characters that you see in the animation films we all know and love. Art of Animation though, it's a very minuscule, colorful lobby. It's beautiful. It was just actually recently redone two years ago. If you guys remember, I remember we did a resort tour back then too and they refinished like the ground. They made it more shinier. So it's kind of been updated. Also, if you guys come here around Christmas, it is a beautiful resort at Christmas with like colorful white reefs, white Christmas trees. I love this resort, as you guys cannot see, can, cannot tell. I come here a lot to do tours each and every single year. The ink and paint shop directly ahead. However, I'm gonna go live my ch my child. Sorry, my child. My dream as a kid, the arcade. Now we were just at um, Universal. Universal actually has a prize section where you can get prizes. Here at Disney, it's completely wiped away. But this is a ginormous arcade. At that. I love my arcades. I love it. Lots of fun and lots of money to be spent in here. And I'm saying that with a smile. Parents, spoil. Spoil your kids, please. <laughs> You're on vacation after all. Spoil them, kids. I guess if you don't want to spoil them in the arcade, you might as well spoil them in the gift shop. The ink and paint shop right here it's pretty much identical layout to the one at pop century it's just um not as open as pop century is obviously unique theme yeah the ink and paint shop into the landscape of flavors we go it shouldn't be as packed as uh, midday well it's kind of lunch it's one o'clock right now the bucks are playing right now so hopefully the bucks do win we've got different sections this is where I like to dine because not a lot of people come back in this area. But most importantly, the food is very important. It's kind of a dark cafeteria. It's beautiful though. You've got all the touches of all the different sections of the hotel here. A cafeteria that you would expect at a value resort, but I do think the, this one in Pop Century are better than the All Star, uh, the All -Star resorts. This one is a little bit better, a little bit better selection. So if you're kind of indifferent on All Stars or Pop Century Art Animation, I do think this cafeteria is a little bit better. We've got our beverage section, water, Coke, Sprite, beer, cupcakes. There's just a lot to choose from. The pastries, this is my dad's favorite, the cherry Danish. I love those too. These are all day, by the way. Mobile pickup is the thing to do now on anything regarding uh, food. I think it's the fastest, but here we've got some, uh, oh my God, there's a Walt Disney's chili bowl here, a bread bowl, shrimp and grits. We've got the pizza, and then we've got burgers. And this, I think, is their lunch menu. I think dinner does change. I guess to kind of summarize this cafeteria up, a diverse food section, but it's big and it's loud. I like to come here and bring it back to, to my room. And this is like the only place to eat, by the way. 
There's no sit downs here at Art Animation, just the cafeteria. On to my favorite section here at Art Animation, the Lion King. And we're greeted by the one and only Rafiki. I love the Lion King section. Oh yeah, they are painting the exterior of the rooms everywhere actually. They're doing it over here at Lion King, but here's actually a very good map at Art Animation. Pretty darn big. And to think that Pop Century was supposed to come over here as well, that would have been probably the biggest resort on property. But this is where we are right now. Same size as uh, Finding Nemo. Let's go check it out. It means no worries. There's the one and only Rafiki. I wish I could show you guys a room. I'll link down below my last day here so you can see a Finding Nemo room and how big the suites are. And here's the ongoing painting of the exterior of the resorts, buildings. I like this area simply because, ooh, they're gonna have a campfire tonight. Cool. Right here, there'll be a campfire. I guess this kind of makes sense. S'mores. I like this area again, as I was saying, because it's so shaded and you literally do feel like you're in a jungle. section the the section that's is very far away from everything else it is the most inexpensive as you're gonna see there is um, a walkway it's not indoors it's your typical value resort that you usually see no suites sort of kind of an interesting choice that Disney decided to do this I believe this uh, these buildings were actually here this was you know remember how this was supposed to be like pop century because this looks identical to pop century I think this building was built before and this is why they couldn't change it to like the other buildings, like the suites, because this one was built before the other ones. So they're like, okay, we have to, um, you know, have more inexpensive rooms than uh, the suites, which is kind of cool because you can stay at this resort um, and not pay $500, but these ones still run a pretty penny. And then of course we've got the small little pool over here as well. If you guys can see area all the way down over there. It's a cool section, less pricey, but you still get to stay at Art Animation, just not in a suite. So this is more typical for those who only have four in their family and don't need six, like the other suites. Probably my least favorite section, but um, it's still super nice, obviously. Without doubt though, Art of Animation is the priciest of value resorts, but this is where you do save that money instead of seeing those $500 prices. Um, what do you guys think? You guys like Art of Animation? I think most of you guys do. Um, if you guys have an upcoming Disney vacation, let's go ahead and comment down below where you guys stay in. So far at the moment, I personally haven't booked a staycation. I guess we can say, where do you guys want to see me next? Comment down below. I really like doing these resort tour guys, so I really hope Y'all enjoy these. It just reminds me of being on vacation when I grew up going here and my dad and my I and my family walking around and just chatting and enjoying the resort. So I hope that kind of is what this feels like, like you guys are with me. Sort of kind of what I intend. But let's head back to the Skyliner because we got to go back to Hollywood Studios. Got to go get my car. Tomorrow we head on over to New York City and I'm super excited, super excited. It's my first time in New York City. So I hope you guys are just as excited as I am because I've never been there and it's just gonna be like, oh my goodness, it's gonna be huge. Uh, if you guys have any last second recommendations, please let me know down below. We will have one more vlog here at Disney and then uh, we begin our travels New York to DC. It's gonna be great. So I'll see you guys there. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you tomorrow. Jump around. Jump around. Thanks guys. Yeah, it was awesome to meet you. Nice meeting you. Happy birthday too. Thank you.